Hey there, Mark Helton here, and today we're going to talk about conversational SMS autoresponders, or you can say SMS conversational autoresponders. Either way you say it, it means the same thing. Basically, what this feature will allow you to do is have a conversation with a prospect via SMS 100% automatic. Okay, so you can pre-program however many questions that you want to ask your prospects who opt in and as they're entering in the information into these or responding to these questions, that information is going to be stored into the lead of your system so you can use it for other things. For example, you can ask what's somebody's name and when they reply with their name, that name field that they enter in will automatically put, be put into the name field for their contact record. So when you send out an email maybe or a text message later, you can, you can actually um, personalize that message by adding their first name. You can also ask anything else that you'd like that's in the system, any of the standard fields that you have like first name, last name, email, phone number, address, E, uh, I'm sorry, zip code. Uh, but then you can also add custom fields and ask any questions that you'd like. For example, if you want to know somebody's favorite color, um, you can ask them that. And any of those things that they answer is going to be added automatically into the contact for you to use on any of the campaigns that you want. So this is a very powerful feature and we actually use it for lots of things. Uh, we run ads on Facebook and we use it as a way to get people to give us additional information once they've opted in from Facebook. Um, we use it for uh, when we run auto or sorry webinars, we'll get somebody to opt in from say GoToWebinar, and once they've you know because our system integrates with GoToWebinar, and so if they integrate, I'm sorry, they they opt in from GoToWebinar, we can automatically send them a text message welcoming them, welcoming welcoming them uh, to uh, registering for the webinar, and then start asking them other questions. Um, it's really cool because sometimes your conversions might drop off if you're trying to ask all of those things on the web form, but because you now have received their information, you can start initiating further conversation after they've already uh, raised their hand, okay? So without too much further ado, I'd like to show you how to actually um, use this, and I'm going to show you how we're doing it um, really, really quickly, okay? So first of all, uh, we are going to talk about the uh, the campaigns themselves. So if you mouse over the SMS button here uh, in the navigation and you click on SMS campaigns, standard and conversational, that's going to show you all the campaigns that you already have in the system that you've created. If you want to create a new one, then you'll just click on add conversational campaign. Okay, there's two different types of, of text campaigns. You've got a um, a, a conversational campaign and then just a standard campaign. The difference between the two is just that the conversational campaign or the conversation campaign, sorry, is going to allow you to add questions that you can ask. Okay, so this is the form that you're going to fill out. I'm going to go to one that we've already completed just so that way you can get an idea of some of the things that we're doing. So I'm going to move this up here and let's go ahead and just look at this campaign that we set up here. It's called Buyback centennial conversation. So what we're doing with this campaign is we're running a Facebook ad to um, the, to you know get somebody to opt in from the Facebook and we're using Facebook lead ad. So as soon as they enter in their name, email and phone number from the Facebook lead ad, they're added into the contact manager, right? And then we have an autoresponder set up. I'm just going to show you this really quickly if I go into the autoresponder. Um, here's that campaign, right? So we have the uh, message that goes out that basically just says, uh, let me just show you. So basically it just says reply with the word car to begin the process. Okay, so once they once they fill out the, the, the form, they click in their, or sorry, they fill out the lead form on the, on the Facebook, the lead ad form, then they would automatically get that messaging. You can make the message whatever you want. Should probably say something like, hey, thank you for opting in from your, uh, from, you know, for, from Facebook to find out what your car is worth. Please reply car to start the process. And then once they reply car, then they're going to see the conversation campaign that we've set up. 
okay? So the conversational campaign, which I'm going to actually go back in here and open this one down here. So the conversational campaign that we're creating here is going to allow us to ask all the questions that we want, okay? So the subscribe keyword here, which says car, is the word that we've decided to use that's going to start these questions. And then here are all the questions. So the first question that we're asking is, hi, first name, what year is your vehicle, okay? Now, with our system, whenever you're using a token like this, if you do not already have their first name in the system, which we would be getting from their Facebook ad, but if we didn't have that, it would automatically change that to whatever uh, alternate keyword that you would, or alternate word that you would like. So for example, if you don't have their first name, maybe you just want to say friend, you know, and so in this case it would say, hi friend, what is your uh, vehicle type? And then um, here you can see we've selected the, uh, the field first name, so what's going to happen is when they reply to this question, the, the information that they give us is going to be added into that field. Okay, now next question we're asking is what make is your vehicle? And then here you can see we have a custom field that we created called vehicle make. Question three, what is what model is your, and see how it says previous answer here? So what it's gonna do is it's gonna take the answer from question number two and it'll say, so for example, if they said what make, if we asked what make is your vehicle and they said Toyota, then here it would say what model is your Toyota? Okay, and then whatever they respond with will be here added into the uh, system under that field. So as you can see, so on and so forth, how many miles is on your vehicle? Has the vehicle been in any significant accidents? Do you follow the recommended scheduled maintenance? If we need to inspect the vehicle, what day uh, are you available to bring in the, the, the vehicle to the dealership? Okay, so those are all the questions. So if you generate leads for auto auto dealerships or if you're an automotive dealership or you work in an automotive dealership and you're trying to generate leads for yourself, this is a really powerful campaign. But as you can see, this can be used for any type of lead generation activities. And the power here is that even if somebody only answered three or four questions and they stopped, that's okay because you just built a whole lot of extra information than you would have gotten and you already have their phone number so you can still call them you still have their email depending on how you got them to opt into this you have all kinds of other contact information this is just additional information to help you sell um, that customer or if you're using it for other things maybe you have a, a winery and you want to find out like what types of wine people like or maybe you have a pizza shop and you want to know what flavor uh, you know, is people's favorite topping or um, whatever. You can ask all different types of questions and use this here in your system and you're building that list and that database um, with all the, the right information about your, about your customers, okay? So after you've uh, created all those questions, then down here you just have your, your typical stuff that you would see. So after they filled out the last question, then it would say, okay, reply submit to finalize your details and receive further communication from us, message and data rates apply. Keep in mind, you have to have this, this is a, a, um, a double opt-in, right? So the first opt-in is this keyword that they type in to subscribe, and then this is your double opt-in, but then also notice you have to mention to them that these text and data rates apply um, because they need to know that. Um, so finally here, the submit keyword, that's the keyword we're using for the confirmation. And then here's your welcome message. So if you're offering any kind of um, a coupon or something like that, here's where you would put that because this is the message that they would receive after they've subscribed and they've you know filled out all of your information. Um, and you can see here, we also have the unsubscribe information that we've added. So to unsubscribe at any time, reply, remove. And then there's your unsubscribe keyword. And then here you can have a message to kind of try to coax them to coming back. Uh, we're sorry to see you go to re-enter your submission, uh, reply start, message and data rates may apply. Um, so here's your resubscribe keyword and that's what we used here where it says start and then welcome back is the message that you would uh, you would give them or the resubscribe message is your welcome back message, okay? So that's basically it. Once you've entered in all this information, now if you have a team account, you have the ability here to assign this campaign for other members to be able to view. It's not necessary. I mean, most of the time I never give access to any of the members in my system. I'm building these campaigns to generate leads for him or her and they don't really need to see them, okay? But that's that. I mean, 
this is a very, very powerful campaign. Um, and I would ask that you please don't start texting in to, to, to see this in, in action only because we are actually running this ad right now on Facebook. And I don't want to mess up our numbers. So please, I would ask that you'd refrain from that. But if you already have your own account, you can go ahead and build this campaign if you want and copy it exactly how we're doing it. Um, just to show you specifically how it works, as you can see, the campaign name is, you know, the buyback centennial um, and this is our group buyback fb lead ads centennial and then remember i said when somebody opts in from the facebook lead ad which we have connected directly to our system through our integration with facebook they are going to be added to another group so i'll show you that again here is the um, buyback centennial and you can see here buyback fb lead ad centennial is the group that we have them going to so once they get in there then they will automatically uh, receive that autoresponder message. And then once they start filling out the information, they're going to be all, – all that information is going to be populated into that contact. All right? So that's all I have for you on this video, but it's a ton of stuff. If you are excited about this and you cannot wait – to go out and start generating leads for your clients. I'd love to hear what you have to say. Please put a comment below this video. Don't hesitate to like and share this. We want to get the word out to let other people know that they can automate their business like this because this will save you and your customers a ton of time. Now, if you are a marketing agency and you want to use this platform for your clients, one thing you want to keep in mind, we do have a white label version of this system. So if you want to run campaigns for your customers and give them access to the system, you can brand everything under your logo, your domain. Everything is completely hidden. It doesn't say hot prospect or anywhere. So you can use this if you want to run SMS campaigns for your customer, email campaigns, voicemail. We have ringless voicemail campaigns. We have all these different things. And by the way, when you are using this SMS autoresponder or the conversational campaigns that, that we're talking about here, all of these different things can be used together and we'll talk about that more in other videos where you can use the autoresponder for the email and the, and the voicemail and the text messages together to really enhance the conversions or really you know uh, improve the response that you're getting on your campaigns okay so again if you want to get access to this system let me show you how you can go out and get access. I'm going to go ahead and open up an incognito window here. We'll go to hotprospector.com. Now, when you go to hotprospector.com, you'll see here there's all sorts of information uh, that you can read about what our system does in addition to, there's also video testimonials, uh, but in addition to this SMS feature that I was showing you, our system does all kinds of stuff. Um, you've got you know your own contact manager. You can do inbound marketing campaigns. You've got a phone system. You've got emails, booking calendars. I mean, you name it, it's built into this system. But you can go here and you can read all that. Now, if you'd like to get a demo of the system, and what I mean by that is have somebody walk you through all these other features that I was just talking about, just click on the button that says request a demo, and then you'll just fill out this form, this quick form, name, email, phone, number of employees, best time to reach, and your company name, and we'll get back with you. Um, if you just say, you know what, Mark, I love it, I want it, I don't want to wait, I want to get access to this right now, just click on uh, when you're on the homepage here at hotprospector.com, scroll down and says where it says, uh, let me just make this a little bit bigger so everything's displayed properly. There, stretch that out. There we go. Um, just click here where it says select your package, and then when you do that, it's going to bring up our four different pricing op options. So we have monthly and annual packages available. Our starter package is if you're just getting started and you want to get something so you can start automating your marketing and that sort of thing, just go ahead and get this starter package. It's 97 bucks a month. We also have our solopreneur, which is going to give you some credits, and it's also going to allow you to load more contacts into the system. That's 197 a month. We have our small business package for those of you that have small teams and you need more users and you want to use maybe our power dialer features and all these other things to help you be better with your your team's um, um, productivity. There you go. Sorry, I had a little bit of a brain fart there. But yeah, so small business, and then you have your elite business. So if you have a little bit bigger company and uh, you need more users and more credits. Now, in addition to the credits, which by the way, you can see here, those are available inside the system to be purchased as low as 
uh, one cent each. You can get those as well inside the system for 100 bucks for 10,000 credits. So if you ever run out, you can buy more, all right? Anyways, this is the most powerful system that you will ever see that does uh, you know, this type of thing. As a matter of fact, there's no other system on the platform or on the planet that does SMS, email, ringless voicemails, power dialing, and then combines all these other tools that you need in one place. Matter of fact, if you were to go out and try to buy all these things separately and put them all together, you'd spend thousands of dollars uh, every single month, at least hundreds of dollars every single month to have all of those things and they weren't really even meant to work together. So that's the real power that you're gonna love about our system is that everything was built together. It was all meant to work together. So if you have all these other features and tools that you're trying to put together now, this will replace all of that, all right? So if you have any questions, you can either select request a demo to see a full demo or you can come sign up. Either way, we really look forward to working with you and see you on the inside.